Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Wendy, and this is my mobile home, Sweet Home. I hope you guys are all doing well at this first part of September. I cannot even believe that summer is almost over and fall is starting to make an appearance. <laughs> I thought about getting my fall decor out and doing some decorating, but I, I'm just not quite ready for that yet. I'm not ready to let go of summer. <laughs> right now it's a beautiful sunny day out. It's nice and warm. It's just gorgeous here today and I'm hanging on to summer with both hands for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> but I've been working outside doing a lot of yard work in that lately and you know I have got a big backyard. It's a really big backyard and you know I mow it myself because uh, well I bought a lawnmower last year I think I've told you that and because it's it's like 35 bucks a pop now to have someone else mow for you so you know I I can you know I bought that lawnmower so I'll I'll mow it myself <laughs> you know there's just no reason not to it I will admit that it is getting a little difficult for me to a certain degree I have you know a lot of problems with my legs and my feet and stuff because I have a lot of swelling and nobody seems to know why and you know anyway but um yeah it it kind of takes a lot out of me that is a huge huge yard to mow but luckily i um, my lawnmower is battery operated and the battery i have two batteries and the batteries last about 20 25 minutes a piece i know that's really not very long but you know a lot of that battery life depends on you know the how rough the ground as you're mowing like is the grass really thick how hard is the mower having to work so on and so forth that makes a difference in battery life so um yeah so it just depends i can get a lot more done now because the lawn has really died off in this heat quite a bit so i don't have a beautiful thick green grass <laughs> lawn of green grass to mow so <laughs> i can get more done than i normally could but um you know, it just, I've really been thinking a lot the past few days about, you know, I'm going to be 65 in January and I have a three bedroom, two bathroom mobile home, which I absolutely adore my home. This house is my security and it's mine and nobody else's, you know, I have poured myself into this place, fixing it up and taking care of it. I'm proud of it. I love it. You know, I just, I never thought I would ever think about leaving unless I absolutely had to, you know, if like if I ever had to go into assisted living or, you know, ugh, God forbid a nursing home. <laughs> I hope it never comes to that, but you know, you never know. And, you know, I've told my daughters, if it comes down to the point that I need care, like full-time care, I want you to put me in a nursing home. I do not. I do not want my girls to have to care for me like that. I, I don't. I, they've got their own lives, and we are very close. I have a wonderful, wonderful relationship with my three girls, and and so that's not it. I just don't want to burden them with that because it it is a burden to a certain degree. You know, not everybody looks at it that way, but I don't want them to have to do personal things for me like that. I, oh, no, no. I've told them, I insist that if I reach the point where I need care like that, I insist that you put me in a nursing home. You know, please come visit me <laughs> and keep an eye on me and make sure I'm being treated right. But, you know, as far as, you know, and I trust my daughters, they would make sure that I was 
somewhere where I was getting good care. I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. But what I've been thinking about a lot lately is my ability to continue to maintain this home. You know, like I said, I've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and I have a huge yard. You, The mobile home lots out here are, everybody has a pretty good size yard. And some are bigger than others. Mine is, the backyard is quite large. And it's a lot for me to maintain. You know, I'm able to do it, and I actually like doing it. I like getting out there and mowing the lawn and, you know, weeding my little flower bed and taking care of things out there and making sure everything looks good. I want my house to look good. And, um, you know, I don't mind it, but I can tell that it's getting just a little bit harder for me. You know, I'm going to be 65 in January. <laughs> I can't even believe that. It's like, wait. Yeah, 65. I had to do the math. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I just, yeah, mind-blowing. <laughs> but I just feel like it's time to start thinking about being prepared as much as a person can prepare for things to get more difficult for me. And, you know, I'm alone, so I don't have anybody here to take care of me should the need arise. And that's the way I like it. That's exactly as I want it to be. I don't want anybody here. I like being by myself, and that is purely my choice. I love it, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I've been thinking about downsizing, I guess is a good word for it. Um, actually, what I and I want to tell you this because I'm curious about I kind of like your input. I'm curious what you guys will have to comment on this topic. Uh, maybe some of you have been through that or are at the same point place I am. I know most of you are probably younger than I am, so maybe this isn't something you can even relate to, but um, <laughs> um, I still would like your opinion if you feel like you want to give your opinion on this, or maybe you have some suggestions. That would be super great, but what I've really been thinking about and kind of looking into to a certain... just. This is all pretty new. I, this has just been like the past week I've been thinking about this stuff. Um, I've thought about it briefly over the past couple of years, you know, but never to the extent that I'm thinking about it now. And what I'm kind of thinking about, I'm looking into, is a tiny home. I would love, love, love to have a tiny home. <laughs> I... It's getting to the point where I have this house that is full of things and it's starting to really get overwhelming for me. I, you know, I'm a keep my house really clean. I'm pretty particular about that. And I, you know, it's kind of getting to the point where it's kind of getting to be a little much for me. Like right now, my floor needs mopped. It's needed to be mopped for the last week. That's really unlike me. <laughs> and I'm not sick or anything. I just, I, I guess it's just, uh, like I said, it's just getting to be overwhelming. And um, I. so what I am going to start doing in the meantime, while I'm pondering my future, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start getting rid of some stuff. I've got too much stuff. I've got three, four cupboards in my kitchen down below, and it is stuffed full of pots and pans and mixing bowls and plastic bowls and all kinds of stuff, several appliances, and I don't use, I hardly use any of it. I don't really cook, cook big meals. I don't cook big, big meals. You know, I fix myself something for dinner every night, but... 
you know, I just, I don't use 90% of it. And it's like, why have I got it? I don't need this stuff. It's dry. Every time I open one of those cupboard doors, I'm thinking, oh, God, I need to clean this out. I'm just so sick of looking at it. And, you know, right now it needs to be organized because, you know, how it goes every so often you have to kind of tidy things up in there. And right now it really needs it. It's needs to be gone through and organized. But I've got too much stuff. I don't need that. I'm one person. I don't need eight mixing bowls, <laughs> you know. I mean, I don't know that I have eight. It seems like I have 80, but, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just getting to be a lot. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think of that. Um, if you know anything about tiny homes or if you've had any experience with it, um, or perhaps, you know, other options. Maybe I've even thought about maybe I'll get a fifth wheel and you know, find a good place to park it. You know, that's the other thing. I, I'd i have to have a place to put it, either a tiny home or, you know, whatever. Um, clearly, it needs a location to be at, and so I would need to figure that part of it out, too. I don't want to go <clears throat> put it on somebody else's property that I know, like maybe one of my daughters or another friend or family member because, you know, if I am able to take it and park it on so-and-so's property, well, what happens when he or she dies? And then I'm, you know, I don't want someone to come to me and say, hey, this, you know, you're going to have to make other arrangements. You know, I don't want to be faced with that. I need the security of knowing I'm set. Like with my home right here, I don't have to worry about that. It's, I have an excellent situation. I own my home free and clear. I don't have any house payment. All I have to pay is my space rent, which, thank God, is still pretty cheap. It's only 300 and, they just raised it. Three, I think, yeah, 375. It's 375 a month. They pay water, sewer, and garbage. That's pretty cheap living. <laughs> Almost unheard of in this day and age. A lot of the... Uh, area mobile home parks are at least 600 and up and I'm sure it's pretty much that way everywhere from what I've heard but um, I don't want to move away from the town I live in I want to stay here because this is where my you know two out of my three grandchildren are here um, and my third grandchild he's um, up north a little ways but my mother's, you know, 20 minutes from me and my sister 10, 15 minutes from me. My kids, one of my daughters is very close. Um, my youngest is in Texas, as you know. <laughs> and my oldest daughter lives, like I just said, up north a ways. But um, with the exception of my daughter in Texas, everybody else here in my family is relatively close. So I'm not looking to change towns that I live in. I do not want to do that. I want to stay here where I'm at, but I'm just getting worried about being able to get by um, on my own with, you know, more house than I can take care of is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. You know, like I said, this is all just in, you know, just mulling it over at this point, but um, yeah. So that's kind of what I've been doing this past week. You know, I've had a lot on my mind thinking things over and just kind of trying to prepare as much as I can for the future. You know, of course, there's always things that you can't prepare for, you know, like, I don't know, but, you know, you if you had an illness crop up, God forbid, you know, I hope and pray that doesn't happen to me, but again... You never know. <laughs> and I can't prepare for everything. But I would, you know, I worry about um, the rent increasing out here. Um, when the owner of the park passes away, um, who's going to take that over? And are they going to be um, as willing to keep the rent as low as possible for those in here on fixed incomes? You know, is a new 
owner or manager or whatever, are they going, you know, they're not going to have the sentimental attachment to this park that the current owner has. He's the one that put this park in and it's his baby. And he, you know, has uh, been here a long time. This park, I think he put this park in in the late 60s, early 70s. So it's been here a long time and, and he's really getting up in years. But oh, I hate to think about anything happening to him. He's a really nice man. Um, but, you know, it's, I always feel like it's good to kind of have a plan B or maybe even a C and a D just in case, <laughs> you know, because one thing you can guarantee in life is it is uncertain and you never know what is going to happen. So prepare the best you can. That might not be much or it might be, you know, you've got a zillion dollars in the bank and you're not worried about it. I don't. So, you know, I am on a fixed income um, and, um, you know, I get by okay. But if the rent got raised a lot more, a few more hundred dollars, I'd, I'd have a very serious decision to make. You know, I, I would really have to get something figured out. And I just don't want to be caught unaware. You know, I, I want to kind of have something in the back of my mind um, about what I'm going to do in the event things become uh, no longer affordable for me out here or whatever else could happen. But, you know, it's, uh, I guess I'm, it's really hitting me that <laughs> I am an old woman. Oh, when did that happen? Jeez. <laughs> it's, <laughs> that can't be me. I, I'm not old. Jeez. It's like, yeah, you are. <laughs> you are an old woman, Wendy. <laughs> but <laughs> all, jo all joking aside, it's true. I'm going to be 65 and, you know, I'm sit, I'm in really good shape where I'm at, and I would not leave this set up. I would not sell this place and move unless I knew, 1,000% knew, that I was, you know, doing the right thing and going to a situation that was better for me than what I've got now. And boy, it, I would be hard-pressed to find a better set up than I have now. I'm just worried about, and I love it here. Don't get me wrong. I'm not looking to move. I don't want to move, but if I'm going to downsize and do something different, then I'll have to. So, um, I would not be able to put a tiny home in this mobile home park that is not allowed. Um, so I'd have to really do some thinking, but <clears throat> I have just you know, while I am thinking about it and I have pretty much turned it over to the Lord because I'll tell you what, I have found that when I have a problem or something I'm mulling over, a decision, what have you, and I have found that when I completely let go of that and say, Lord, I'm leaving it up to you. I'm putting this situation in your hands. I know that you know a heck of a lot more than I do about everything. <laughs> and you know what the future holds for me. So I am pretty much leave. I'm going to continue to do my research and look and think, but uh, for the most part, I'm leaving it up to God because he always works things out for me. He always has. Always. Always. And I don't want to, I'm not going to get myself all worked up in a dither over this, you know. But I, I feel it's being responsible to kind of have your ducks in a row so that if something does come come along or come down the pike that you are not completely caught off guard and you now you're floundering around trying to figure out oh my god what am I gonna do you know I I don't want that so 
I'm trying to avoid that by being somewhat prepared as much as I can. So that's what I'm kind of thinking about right now. And, and uh, I just kind of wanted to throw it out there to you guys and kind of see what you thought. Maybe you might have some suggestions or, I don't know, some experience in a similar situation yourself that maybe you would be feel comfortable sharing, you know, and whatever. I obviously wouldn't want you to share anything you weren't comfortable with, but um, yeah, any uh, knowledge or comments or whatever, I'm happy to listen and or read <laughs> what you have to say <laughs> or just, you know, moral support. That's good too. And I'd always appreciate a prayer too that you would um, pray for me that God would help me with this situation and whatever his will is for me, then that's what I want to do. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it today. I have been working out in the yard and in a week or two, it's going to be time to kind of get it ready for winter. My flowers are kind of starting to wither and die and most of them are at the end of their blooming season. So when it gets like this, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. You're getting ripped out. <laughs> it's time to get the garden, the flower garden ready for a long winter nap. <laughs> yeah, just uh, pretty soon it'll be time to get the faucets covered and, you know, things put away and buttoned up for winter. But I still got a little bit of time before I need to worry about that. So, yeah. But, oh, I wanted to tell you one channel I've been watching a lot of, if you've never heard of it, is called Incredible Tiny Homes. And this, uh, Amanda and, oh, heaven's sake, Randy. <laughs> Randy and Amanda are, I'm not quite sure what the role is. I think they're co-owners or something. But um, they're not a couple, but they work together, and I'm not really sure exactly what the roles are there. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I've been watching their channel and looking at the homes they offer. Uh, they use mostly recycled materials to make their tiny homes, and there is one there that I have just fallen in love with. It's called The Cottage. And it's white with blue, pretty blue flower boxes and little shutters. And it's got a front porch and it's just cute as a bug. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they're actually located in Tennessee. So uh, if something happened and I sold my house and bought myself a tiny home, I guess I'd be driving to Tennessee to pick it up and bring it back. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Wendy, who are you trying to kid? I would never do that by myself. <laughs> I'd find someone to go with me, obviously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've been watching their channel, and they're just hilarious, for one thing. But they're doing a really great thing there. They've got, I think, uh, three or four communities they've put in for just for tiny homes. They have one called The Grove. Another is the forest. Um, another one is the beach. You know, these are the little communities they've built on this property that they own. And they're, <clears throat> they're if you put your tiny home in one of their properties, uh, it's $200 a month. <laughs> Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap living. <laughs> so, yeah. And they're just the coolest people. They just seem like they would be absolutely lovely but um yeah so if you're interested you should go check them out check out their youtube channel and see what what the different homes that they have to offer and their prices are very very good better than anyone else that i have looked at you know trying to figure my life out <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway, I think that's about it for today. I hope everyone is doing great and that you are enjoying what's left of our summer. I do have, uh, I have a 
big, huge maple tree in my backyard that's just gorgeous. I don't know how old it is, but it is enormous. <laughs> and the leaves are starting to change on it and actually are starting to fall to a certain degree. And every fall, I share my leaves, being the good neighbor that I am. <laughs> I share my leaves with everybody around me. <laughs> That tree is gorgeous, but oh my heavens, it makes a giant mess. <laughs> but I that is one of the few times I hire the lawn guy to come take care of, and he gets those leaves blown up into a pile, and then he bags them up and takes them and gets rid of them down at the grass pile. But um, yeah, that's a lot of work. The first year I lived here, I went out to rake the leaves because... They were, had come down pretty good, and it was just thick out there with leaves. So I go out there. i am you know, got my hiking boots on and my gloves and the coat, and I got my rake, and I'm out there raking away. Gosh, I must have spent two hours out there. <laughs> got the leaves all raked up, got them all bagged up, taken care of. The next morning, I wake up, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to look outside and admire my handiwork. You know, I raked all those leaves up yesterday. I want to look out and see how nice it looks. I opened the door and it didn't look like I had even touched it. <laughs> More had come down overnight and the ground was totally covered again. <laughs> so that represented the end of Wendy's raking career. I was so disgusted. I was just like, oh no, <laughs> that is a lot of work to go out there and rake like that. Gosh, my hands hurt so bad. <laughs> but now I, I hire someone to take care of that for me. It's more than what I can handle, more than I want to handle. <laughs> if I could do it and not suffer physically for it the next day, for the next three days, roughly, I'd do it. You know, I don't like to pay people to do things that I am perfectly capable of doing. But yeah, those leaves, that is a huge, huge mess. <laughs> so anyway, okay, I'm done talking now. I'll get off of here. I hope you all are doing wonderful and that you are enjoying this part of September that hopefully for you too, uh, summer is still hanging on for a while at least. <laughs> all right, you guys, I love you all dearly and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by and for watching.